Hello all, Seriously is here, back for some more finishing permadeath. Uh, I just wanted to start on this screen because look, I'm at 2-2-2-2-2. Two, 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 two. <laughs> all twos. Uh, I thought that was neat. That's it. That's all. It's the only reason we haven't loaded into the game yet. <laughs> uh, also because the game has crashed on me several times today. So we'll see what's going down. That's a really long black screen. Are we going to get the space? There we go. Now we're in space. Now we're motoring. <laughs> No Man's Sky. Hopefully it won't take too long to load in. Uh, I can't even remember where I crashed at. Hopefully I am uh, on the planet I want to be at. <laughs> Should be planet uh, Farnsworth, the one that I named. It's a mechanical moon uh, with the uh, glowing orb creatures and Tiberium Growths, right? Obviously mechanical. <laughs> uh, the glitch decoration, Tiber Tiberium Growth. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. The one that used to spin before I started the game and now is stationary, which is a shame, I think. That would have been cool. Now they're just really huge spheres with nubs on them and you can't really do a lot with them. You can do some cool stuff, actually. I shouldn't say you can't do a lot. They're better than the bone uh, things. What are those called? Ossified stars. Those things are really hard to use, except as ossified stars. These things could be used in engine components. See these spinning up here? These things used to spin. Oh, and remember last time, or one of the previous times, I was talking about how my bases were lined up in a row. This is the base you don't want to leave from if you're headed to another one. Or if you're on the Gamma Runes, this is the base you don't want to come to because uh, you get really bugged out warping or pulsing between them. You can see that line pretty well here. Alright, so, oh, oh come on game. Okay, whew, jeepers creepers. <laughs> between episodes, I had already extended out the base borders. Uh, the base was already extended all the way out to where we needed to. I just finished drawing in the poles that I like for the power and hooking up all the power to a spot directly underneath the uh, base computer. We're not going to be able to move that. It's in there. It's locked in. I've just uh, centered these floors on it and gotten ready to build an actual base here. Let's actually move the ship. I didn't realize it was so close. Uh, and I connected all the power and I hooked up the gold and the silver mines. Now they are not hooked up to any storage silos at the moment. I'm just going to check something real quick like. The music seems okay. No, okay. Everything's good sound wise. Music seems a little bit dim to me, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's a nice peaceful song. <laughs> so I put the structure around the base computer. I got the mine set up. Let's go take a look at the gold mine. I've done something. There's the creatures I was talking about. Glowy spheres. Uh, what did I name them? Clockwork Origin. Oh, oh, all right. So the storage silos are hooked up, but these are hooked up to each other. This is what we got going on here. Oh, okay, yeah, they're both going. So I've blended two of these together, one facing each way. Actually, I think there's four or five facing this way and just one facing the other way, but they're both powered and there's a hook connecting them all. So we can see that we have 247 per hour and a storage of 1500. Uh, we would get better storage if we had more of these or if we had any storage silos, but really it's the extraction rate that we're looking at, 1485 per hour. We could head over to the silver and I've got the same thing going on. Uh, I've textured this one to be uh, gold, reflecty, and the other one to be silver, reflecty, because that's what they're harvesting. So, you know. That's all I've done between episodes, and I went to go get inspired about what I should do for this base build in the middle. It's going to be a factory where we're putting together platinum. I was thinking we could do a circle build, because I haven't done one in a while since I built my, built my main base. So this is going to be a little bit more involved than the average build. Uh, and you can see that I've sort of started here. I'm trying to get these wires centered for the circle I would like to build but I didn't really know the correct method. So what I'm gonna do is delete everything I've done except the structure. 
since that is where I would like it to be. Okay. So, let's get into this. We want to go to basic. I'm going to use... Um, how many concrete can I make? 55? Not very many. Let's see about metal. Metal floor panels. Th that's even less. I am running out of materials. Okay. Okay. We're going to go to concrete. <laughs> uh, it doesn't need to be either or. Uh, it's fine to do it either way. Uh, we could pick a color we want. doesn't really matter. Now, ideally, you would like to lower these floors by doing a bit of a glitch here. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not lowering these floors. The base is going to sort of be floating. There might be a bit of a gap. It's probably going to just touch, and I'm okay with that. I am totally fine with not lowering the floor here. We could do it. We don't need to. I'm fine without doing it. It's a bit more involved of a technique, and this is a bit of an involved technique, as you will see in a moment. Uh, oh, I did it wrong already. First step was wrong. I want to go from this to that. Uh, I want to put another one of them here. I want to back out of basic. I want to go to large. Get a hallway on that doorway. Uh, yeah, I can delete that one. I can delete that one. I want to back out of large. Whoops, I do want to be in structure. Go back to basic. I put a door on this side now, right? Yes, that's what I want to do. Now I want to go back to the single door, and now I actually want to put the single door in. Now you can see we did all of that just to get this gap. So instead of the door touching this corner, it's in that much further over. See how this wall isn't centered perfectly? along this crevice here. That's what we did it for. Now we can delete this one and we want to put in a floor and we want to center it not on this outside one here, we want to center it here. Now you can see actually if you look at the very tip top where it's meeting the door frame, when I move it to the outer spot it actually goes down a little teeny bit. It's a, This is going to be a little bit taller up than we expect it or than we want it to be, but I think it'll look fine. The floor overlaps a little bit anyway. All right, so one more glitch. We got that one in, perfect. We can delete the door frame. We can delete that floor. We, we could leave it in too. We don't need it there though. So let's see, how much up is that? That's fine. I am perfectly fine with that. Okay, this is our center. This is where we want to put our biodome. However, I also would like to go up a floor as well. So what I'm going to do is not that. I'm going to do this on the very end and I'm going to put a floor in here first. And we're going to do two sets of wires today. I don't know how much of this circle we're going to get done. We are not doing a 32 sided circle. Uh, that is the size that I would like to get done but it's a lot more work and it's a bit more time consuming and I think a 16 sided circle will do us just fine. I did some practicing on my second normal save because I've got a, uh, what would you call that, a research and development base where I can build some stuff. Okay, get out of basic, get into large again. Uh, we need to make sure that we have the resources to build both one of these cylindrical rooms. We can build eight and we can build three biodomes. That's more than enough. However, before we get into here, let's go to tech specialist farming we also need to build we can build seven of these that's great perfect we only need to be able to build five and we can build one of those we can build everything we need perfect let's get out of farming let's go back to structures and let's get our biodome built up top perfect uh, now which way am i going i got to remember which way i'm going because this matters because the way the floor panel is offset is the way that I need to focus on doing these glitches. So we need to start here on this side. That said, I'm going to put a door over on this side because I am 100% guaranteed to screw one of these up. For sure. I have never done five of these adjacency glitches in a row. <laughs> I don't, I don't, well, maybe, but I don't remember doing that. All right, now we want to go to tech and specialist and gamma and we want an adjacency glitch over to one of these and this is our key point if we look and we go into this and wire see this thing here 
that's centered not only back and forth in the middle of this thing, it's centered exactly on this crevice. This is exactly where we need it to be. But what we need is to put four more uh, gamma flowers in here and adjacency over to hydroponic trays. Uh, did I just click one down here? I hope not. No. Okay, I don't see it. Let's get over to the gamma flower just so we uh, don't accidentally click one in beneath the base. And see, there we go. I, I messed up already. I should just be doing this from inside in the first place. <laughs> I want to delete the gamma flower and not the biodome. It would help if my character were actually in here with me because then I couldn't accidentally delete the biodome. Yeah. All right. Nope. There we go. And two more. See, I told you, I, I definitely should have been in here the whole time. I'm not getting the hang of this adjacency glitch today. I've been practicing, and uh, it hasn't gotten better. Finally. <laughs> and the last one, we got in one try. Good, 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 good. Now, uh, I can go to here, just go to wire. I want to hook them all up from this one that we drew first to each of the ones we drew after. And this is all we need today. We can delete the biodome after this. If I've got the space in my inventory to do that. In fact, just because I'm sure... Not sure, but let's make sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that I do. But if we delete a piece at a time, that might be better for me. Because I want to get the metal plating back for sure. Because these take a pretty penny. And let's check the inventory. Let's just do it the, the safe way. Yeah, I've got space. All right, I'm gonna get a bunch of glass back from this too. So, deleted. Okay. So now I wanna delete this floor panel. And do I wanna have a safety here? Maybe I want a safety. So you know what I'm gonna do? Go back to structure, basic, floor panel. Let's use metal. Actually, how much wood can I do? 48, that's not bad. One, two, three, four. Whoops, that's wrong. Let's get this way out here, way further than we need it to be. Uh, let's remember how many we're doing, though. Okay. Uh, one, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five wooden panels, and then the center panel. Okay. Five panels, six panels total. There we go, we got that one deleted. Now we want to go back into here, large. We want to snap this, make sure it's snapping. Yeah, it's snapping to what we want. And we want our biodome back, lower, perfect. And we want to do the same thing we just did on this side here. All right, so while we're on structures, let's go back to door, put one of these in over there. And let's just go inside and do it from the inside. Because, uh, like I said, why not? Should be that one, right? Yeah, that's where the door goes, so that's where this will go. Okay, back to tech. First try, excellent. See, I, I never got five in a row pretty rare for me. <laughs> this is why I do not do some of the more advanced glitch building builds because it's not like I lack the creativity to do them. It's just I lack a controller <laughs> to do them. <laughs> or building macros. I don't use any macros. This is all just standard keyboard and mouse. It's a bit of a pain in the butt. Anyone telling you differently is uh, either really talented or just putting on a brave face. <laughs> in the face of adversity. All right, so uh, that should be everything we need. In theory, I should have enough to just delete this biodome and everything in it. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I can delete this floor as well because we can use that same floor panel as our scaffolding to get this back if we need it. Perfect. Now I've got two sets of these. We can get going on this. Now, you know what? Maybe, maybe I should put that floor panel in. 
uh, right on the top of these. Yeah, just to prevent me from accidentally placing one of these when I'm doing my adjacency glitch. Let's go to metal. We could texture this. We are going to want something nearby to texture stuff on just in case. So let's go and put a decoration item down. I like the pyramid because I can see it and I'm not accidentally going to think it's a snap point for something else like a pipe. Uh, this one here turns nice silver and gold colors, I think, but let's try the red one because it's a bit darker. And we'll go with this. Bam. Okay. Um, metal floor panel is what we want to do. Floor, color, and while on color, we're going to match this color. Even though this floor panel will just basically never be seen, unless you're talking to the base computer. Uh, and that is only underneath, too. So, hmm. yeah, texturing this was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, but you can see, look at that point, nice right on there. Actually, it's a little teeny, teeny bit off, if you notice that. It's centered this way, uh, on this line here. But that's more than good enough. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, good enough, anyway. So let's start glitching. Let's start doing some really tough glitches, not just adjacency glitches. <laughs> All right, tech, power, technology. Let's put one of these down just to have a point. Now let's get out of technology and go back to the floors. I think I'm gonna use concrete. Uh, I could use, no, let's use metal. How many can I make? I don't need to actually have them all right now. I can build 28. That'll be enough to do the circle and enough to do each part of the circle as we go. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna texture them just because I can. Nope, that's delete. <laughs> there we go, we got a texture on this. Yeah, that looks nice, gray and gold. I like that. Now, while we're on color still, let's go to the wire. And should we start at the bottom? I think we should. All right, change the angle, please. There we go. Where do I need to be to get it to change? Let's get a closer look at this. And let's change the angle like this, maybe. I wanna have this still in view, but I wanna have a good angle. There we go. Sort of. Okay, I placed the floor beneath behind it. That's bad. <laughs> the wire. Drew the wire again. Oh, nuts. I'm not doing good at this today. Although I did predict that I wouldn't do good at it. <laughs> so at least I got that going for me. That looks correct. Oh, I, I, I left the color menu. That was silly of me. Okay, no more texture on these. I'm not gonna bother with it. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, if these are coming out right into the middle of the floor, that's perfect. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Good, I moved the ship far enough away. That's good to know. No, oh, no, oh, come on, snap. There you go, thank you. Nope, I want to delete now. Not any of those wires. Those are the ones above. That's important to not delete them. Oh, nuts. Uh, one, two, three. Good thing I didn't delete that middle floor yet. Okay, and we don't want to delete any of the wires in there when I delete this one. There we go. So this one is done. Next. <laughs> Okay, metal floor, let's not worry about texture. And we're on the bottom one. And we want the angle here, come on. I'm just gonna have to go back and forth on this, aren't I? There we go. Perfect. get a better view while well, we're going to do this a bit faster, hopefully. Nope, that's not where I want anything to be. 
I don't want to report it. I want to delete it. Not the whole base, though. Whew. There we go. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I'm building these out of. I can change it later. I can even make these glass floors. Uh, not all of them, but the outer layer, maybe. I think I'm going to do that for the roof, though, which is why I drew these wires up top earlier. Uh, did we get all four sides? Looks like we did. So we can delete that. And this. There we go. And we want to go back to wires and do the next angle. Nice. I'm, I'm doing way better than I thought, actually. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> of course, I had to say that. Jinx myself. I am destroying some ground over there. I can hear the ground breaking when I... Uh, this isn't as tall up as I thought it was going to be. I did only want it one off the ground so that I could draw some stairs. In fact, uh, which way is this facing? We haven't drawn that one in yet. Okay, that'll be the last angle we do, it looks like. Keep an eye out for those wires. Don't want to delete them. Uh, except now I do. That one in specific. All right, so this is the last angle. And you know what? Uh, these wires up here are totally unnecessary. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, I can just draw a wall from each of these and put a, another, yeah. Yeah, what? This was, that was dumb. But, you know, you could do that if you wanted it multiple higher ups, if you wanted multiple floors or different heights. That's how you would do that, centered in the same spot. All right, well, good to know. I don't want to have to wire glitch all of these things again. That's awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, I have to pick the floor. There we go. Now we can wire glitch. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, that drew the floor. <laughs> there we are. I knew I was forgetting something. Got to get back on that floor tile to do this. No, that drew one over there. I'm going to get on this angle again so I can't connect to that. Now I can't do it to save my life. Hopefully I jinxed myself by saying that. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> I jinxed my jinx by jinxing it. There we go, finally. Uh, and you can see here, this is the gap we're talking about. That's how much my base will not be touching. This teeny gap here. In the middle, it seems to actually be touching. I can't see any light through there. Uh, I can see the reflection half the way through, though, so there is light. There is light in there. All right, let's get this circle drawn. Uh, that doesn't seem correct. That's not correct. Okay, be careful here. Because I do have a lower connection, I'm snapping it to the edge of those. i got to make sure when I'm drawing these, I'm snapping it to the top. There we go. And uh, before I get ahead of myself, I am going to make sure that I'm correct about my theory here, that I can't just go up and back in from each of these. I don't need to draw these all out again. Yeah, no, obviously I can. I mean, I'm out of parts. <laughs> out of ferrite dust, but yeah, I can definitely do that. Uh, watch. Right? And if I'm right, let me draw this back into the center here. Yeah, that's perfectly in the middle. All right, this was that yeah, those upper wires were a waste of time. Uh, let's get rid of them. And this wire here I no longer need. That's correct. Okay. I also no longer need this floor. 
uh, because I have. Let's keep that as scaffolding. And we'll get rid of that floor. We'll keep that textured one we put in as the roof. Okay, so this is the direction that I'm facing on the north south axi. <laughs> Axis is. I don't know, whatever. Let's put some stairs in temporarily just so I know which way the stairs are going to go. And on the four corners of this thing. Uh, am I too close to that? Really? All right. There we go. Yep, that was correct. Uh, and now I'm out of ferrite again. All right, let's go to concrete. <laughs> uh, this is all basically just scaffolding. I'm gonna have to go collect some resources to finish this off. Actually, you know what? Maybe I could've got these out of metal if I just took these mistakes out of the way. How many of these can I build? Just one anyway. All right, I can only redo one. Get down there, you. There we go. Yeah, do all of these reach the ground? That was the goal. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to do another stairwell over here. Let's get that in now, just so I remember it. Over here as well. And these two should meet. Nice. Okay, excellent. Yeah, I think things are going swimmingly. Now, the thing that I thought was really neat... Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? That's not where these go anyway. Uh, darn. You know what, I'm gonna keep them. They go in one. They go right here, actually. You know, I could just leave the stair in now, but let's let's forget about it. <laughs> I can snap floor tiles to stairs later. Uh, what I need to do is go inward by one. So if I want this to be glass, which I don't, I don't. I want this to be, it's all gonna have to be one. Let's do concrete and let's pick our color. Yeah, that's the one I want. And I want the tiles to face. Let's figure this out. If I put this here, and I go like that, and I go like this. Nope, I'll have to delete that. Uh, let's try again with a better angle on this. There we go. The tiles go like that, do they? Okay, cool, good to know. Uh, I am gosh, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna make sure that I've got the tiles going the correct way. Upper floor, please. There we go. Center tile. Sure, why not? Let's put it in now. We'll see if we keep it around in the long term. Uh, I would like these ones to go this way now. Nope, that's the bottom piece. Upper, thank you. There we go. Perfect, excellent. Okay, now let's put in those ones. Let's get all of these doors in here. Actually, you know what I should have done? Let's not put a door in there. Let's put these tiles in here while there's space. I have room for 30, uh, sorry, uh, materials for 30 more of these tiles. I don't know that that's enough to finish this floor, but it is a fairly small circle. So we're gonna try. Okay, now we can put in some doors. Basically everywhere where there isn't a tile already. I like to keep them on the same side of the door, just so I don't make mistakes of where I need to place other stuff. And right there. You can stay there, upper floor tile. Well, I don't need you, but you can stay there. problems with the adjacency glitch today it seems than I am with the blender glitch which is odd for me usually I do pretty good with the adjacency and terrible with the blender and I am second guessing my timing on every one now there we are Yeah, 
Yeah, this will work out just fine. Yeah, see? Okay, okay, okay. Dismiss, dismiss. I got my timer saying we're done. Probably got a couple seconds left, so let's try to finish this floor. A timer? That, that never put pressure on anyone, right? That never made them screw up more. <laughs> I can only build six more floor tiles anyway, so it's not like we got a lot of... Uh, I'm going to have to take a break to go buy some materials. I'm in my building ship, too. My building ship is, like, empty. There we go, fine. Oh, no, one more. <laughs> of course, two more. Oh, gosh, got it. Should have had a better angle on that. Oh, and something else I've pointed out before is if you want to delete these frontages when you're trying this adjacency glitch, the window counts as the frontage, the door is hollow, and whatever is behind will be deleted. So try not to delete when you're on the uh, door. There we go. I got my full circle in. I can delete these doors and get some more concrete back. Because I have to put even more doors in now. More door. <laughs> uh, specifically on, yeah, on all of them. Because if I only put a door in here, on this set of tiles, and do another frontage right here, I'm going to have a triangle-sized gap there. So what I need to do is do a door whoops, on all of them. Yeah, that's the right one. I should do them in a circle because I get confused about which one is which. There we go. So, because I'm going to leave you, I'm going to put a door in before I forget where I'm at. This is the one I need to do. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So we have ooh, the beginnings of the base. Actually, you know what? I think maybe I will show you what I am planning. One little trick for the future, because we're going to probably come back to me having done most of this. So we're going to go a little bit more over time, and I'm going to show you one more thing that I am planning for this build. I am planning on... Do you do it from the inside? Or the outside? I think from the outside. I was just practicing this. Uh, structures, large. I am going to need some glass. Do I have any glass? Uh, that doesn't take glass. I have six, I have enough to build lots of glass. Okay. And I have to build the ferret. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So I want to go to this and adjacency to... Nope. Yeah, more adjacencies, right? There we go. And I put that in there. And look at that. Look how nice that looks. Nice and circular here. We're going to get a walkway on the outside that we'll be able to have uh, a railing on 16 sides and we'll get a nice smooth circle with windows to look through on the inside of our base. And uh, that's what the roofs are for. That's why I wanted to get the same angle on the roofs. So yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna leave those in because they're a bit of a pain. <laughs> that's where they're going and I don't think they're gonna interfere with anything. One thing I did note is that I can put the roofs in no problem. Uh, they snap just fine. They don't snap to these, but they snap to uh, where these things here that I set up, and they don't interfere the, these walls. But if I want to put in, say, a door to get in and out of here and not just have windows all the way around, uh, I would have to go to basic, put a doorway in right here. Uh, let's say I wanted metal, because metal will look nice with those windows. And where is the metal door frame? I can put this in here, but now I won't be able to snap a ceiling tile over this door frame for some reason. Okay, uh, so I have to put it in after. I guess it's that extra height we've got there going on, but not a big deal. Uh, I am going to leave this door frame here because I am going to snap a metal door on there later. <laughs> but that's that's what we got going on here. Wow, look at that planet. Look at that thing. I love building on moons just for that, basically. Uh, I don't love the vignette, although it's hard to tell when you're looking at a moon, or you're looking at a planet from a moon. Hard to tell that we got anything in those corners there. Boom. There we go. Uh, but we're not going to get the moon as the focus. The base is the focus, really. So this is what we're building today. A circle base to produce platinum at. We're building the platinum base 
That's what we got. Oh, hey, take a landscape photo. Well, look, look what I had to do. I wonder what I had to take a photo of. Frozen images. Take a planet, a picture of a strange planet. Ooh, neat, cool. <laughs> All right, well, until next time, everyone, have a good time.